Hey, hello everyone, Valley Tub here. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. This is episode two of our playthrough. We got to this ship that's kind of, kind of flashing a little bit. It's kind of weird, uh, but we made it outside and our friends here are waiting for us. I'm sure they have nothing but nice things to say. I, I, already, I already know what they're gonna say. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Uh, I just walked in because you guys wanted me to. Uh, I'm gonna try lie. We're gonna try lie. You got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. All right. You take care. You have fun. All right. Well, we have to go 230 miles that way, but we're really moving fast, so I don't think, I don't think it'll take that long. Can I, like, mine minerals or anything out here in the open world? Because this looks like it's mineral rich. Actually, that's just the... That's just the... Whoa! Oh, there's a building over there! Oh, my God. Hello? I do that Miles joke every time. And without fail. Without fail, someone's like, you know it's meters, right? <laughs> every fucking time. Hey, bud! Oh, he dodged. I thought he fell down. What the fuck? He was so tanky! But there's one over there. Tanky boy. I'm gonna try to run up on him. Nice. You know, I actually would not mind getting some more health regeneration. I think that... I think that'd be cool. Because even just getting two health back per second, which is what we're at right now, seems like a decent amount. Like, look at our health bar. It's actually refilling kind of quickly. So this is some kind of, like, marauder outpost kind of thing here. There are three enemies up ahead. F, just so I remember, is the fast heal button. So that's a goon. Oh, there's more. There's four. Thank God for perception, dude. A marauder lookout. <laughs> Someone is doing a bad job. It looks like he's by himself. And then there's a fucking... A, some kind of furry-ass dog or something in the back. All right. Reloading. He's melee. He's down. Whoa! Slow it down, boys! Slow it down! There's a fucking animal in my head. One more. We got to cover. Where are you going, bud? Where are you going? It's kind of cheating. I don't know how I like that I could see him through a wall. I guess I had perception anyway, so I probably knew he was there. And now, as long as we're just hanging out, as long as we're just chilling, we get two health back per second. Yo, that seems really strong, actually. I bet you can make a really fun... Like melee focus build, like shit ton of strength, and and then just health regeneration. Is is this important to me? No. Is this locked? No. Energy cells. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of loot everything because I don't know what I need and what I don't need. What I did in between episodes with chat, I kind of went through my inventory and looked at stuff and figured out what stuff is for. Like we have a lot of food, we have a lot of consumables. Some of it is talking about carbohydrates. I don't know what carbs are good for. It didn't specify fats or proteins, so I don't know why they would just specify carbohydrates on food. Unless I just don't have any food with high fat or protein uh, c content, makeup, whatever. Uh, we did pick up a hunting rifle here. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that's... You don't get to see the bullet trail. What's the damage on that compared to the damage on mine? 53 DPS. 
So it's, it's a DPS loss because you have to reload, but it does 66 damage per shot. And that takes heavy ammo versus the light ammo that our pistol has. I like that. There is one locked thing over here and I can't open it because we don't have enough of those. Those little lockpick things. Can I ma mark stuff on the map? Like, can I can I specify on the map that you know what? There's a box here. I should probably head back and get it. I guess I guess I really can't. It is showing me points of interest. This is the landing site. Oh wow, there's actually a lot of stuff out here, dude. So it looks like we can go to the north and wrap around to get to the city, or we can go south, and it's a bit more of a narrow path. I'm going to try that. We're going to go south. Southeast! Wow, dude. Look at this view, though. Whoa! Come on! That is beautiful! Oh my goodness. That looks amazing. That looks so good. Oh, and we get to go through the cemetery on the way in. All right, we're checking this for science. Let me make sure I quick saved appropriately. This is just for science, okay? <gasps> Motherfucker! And if. Oh, it's my ship, son of a bitch. Well, this will be an interesting experiment. Do we get the same items? Oh, guys, look at that. The fucking thing's 290 miles away. Wow, we really must be moving. <laughs> I'm stuck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this the place? This looks right. Oh, the cower and fear effect happened there. I don't know if you guys could see that. Oh, and we got some bullet time effects. Hello? That was actually really dope, dude. Or 20 XP, blaze it. He did not drop his rifle this time, so the loot changes. Um, I wonder if I wonder if the loot on the table and in containers also changes based on our current save. Is this locked still? That's still locked. Okay. All right, that was actually uh, educational. I totally meant to go back on that save. Definitely, definitely meant to go back. That was all just to educate myself. Totally, dude, 100%. All right, this time for actual science, although we can't use my hunting rifle. Uh, how dangerous are these dudes? So you can literally just attack whoever you want to in this game. Criminal activities, trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in these activities without consequences. Lockpicking is also not good. We're not allowed to. We're not allowed to lockpick. So what I want to know is, since the the starting guards are dead, does that mean everyone's going to be mad at us, or are we good to go? We're testing this for science. Ooh, there's a nice coffin for me. Like, do witnesses matter, I guess, is what we're getting down to. Maybe we should put this in black and white because it's an alternate reality. 
Like this, this, this doesn't happen. It's not what happened. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. It doesn't seem like anyone gives a shit. I wouldn't do that. I haven't seen any guards yet. I don't think they. I don't think they put out the APB on me or anything. Nothing but salt tuna. Oh, here's some guards. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Yeah, dude, we're chilling. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Chat said they only become hostile once your reputation gets low enough. I see. Well, with my charisma, I get less of a reputation decrease, I think. Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Hey, bud. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. I killed some. Yeah, I'm just passing through. My pad crashed back there on the hills and... Well, actually, how do you know I'm not a marauder? You talk too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. That's fair. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Uh, I never got your name. I'm Billy Hawthorne. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Uh, who would I talk to about getting a power regulator? Actually, do you know that? Because that'd be great. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Um... Are you offering me a job right now, bud? Edgewater is a company town, board-owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Uh, so are you trying to tell me you want to go collect the dues of people that are renting out graves? All right, that sounds great to me. Uh, so you want me to collect? I can do that. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Martin Abernathy. Why is he a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. That was so not specific. That was so vague. Uh, do you know where they are? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Okay. All right. Was there something... There was something else I wanted yeah. to ask you, bud. Because you're the first person I've talked to. Uh, do you get a lot of those marauders coming over here? Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. What are they after? Oh, no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Uh, this town must be in pretty bad shape. If it's keeping you employed, because he manages the graves, right? Uh, let's not say that. That seems a little rude. Uh, how long have you been a junior in humor? Grave digger. You know, whatever. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one, uh, all my life? Works pretty <laughs> good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Okay. Well, that I'm good, man. Thank you for all that info. I'll go try to get some of your fees. He seems really nice. So there's a barber in town. There's a guy at the cannery. There's a guy that lives next to the cannery. And a dude by the landing pad. And we need to talk to all of them in order to get his money for, the, for his job. He's just doing his job. Uh, and then... We also need to find a power supply for our spaceship to get the fuck off this planet. I mean, I kind of like this planet. I don't really I don't feel like I need to leave right away or anything. The cannery! Well, that's a cantina. 
Oh, the barbershop. We're in already. Look at that. Oh, that's a cool little sign. Hello? Hey, bud. How you doing? Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. You're about to be crawling with Physical bullet in you. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Uh, so, uh... I can show you my hands, motherfucker. I like the intimidate one. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You I'm Billy Hawthorne. If your hair fails to meet Hawkins. Spacer's I don't know what my name is. Standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Um, so... I am looking to repair my ship, but let's... I, I am looking to collect dues, but maybe we should, like, avoid that for last, you know what I mean? Like, bring him in with some conversation. Um, uh, what are you going to repair my remains for? That sounds pleasant to talk about. Burial. In the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. So, I'm looking to repair my ship. Would you know anything about that that the other guy wouldn't know about? A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. What the fuck? I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. What the fuck? Uh, wh wh your vicar? Vicar Maximilian, our man from the OSI, here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. All right. You've insulted me enough. Give me some fucking money to pay for your grave. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You mean you're fucking broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire... I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Um, I don't care. Pay up. You have a very loose definition of the word prosperity. That's some quality drama, Conrad. You should audition. <laughs> Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Uh, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Uh, just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Um. I'll let you know if I can think of anything. Much obliged. I should just fuck. I don't I wish I went with the I don't care. Just pay the fucking man the money. Let's look around and see if he actually has any money sitting around. Armor parts. That's stealing. So just like Fallout, there is stealing. If I crouch and they don't see me, I'm assume. Oh, here's all the dead bodies. If I crouch and they don't see me, I assume I'm allowed to steal. Not allowed, but I can get away with it. Conrad! Uh, receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Company's going to have to call it for what it is. Okay, I don't know if I want to read this. All right, dope. That's the dude's brain. They took his fucking brain. Oh, hello. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Yeah, I'll take that ammo. Don't mind if I do. Oh, yeah, there we go. 
Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I don't think I can open any of the storage facilities. The fridge is empty. Why do you have a fridge in here? Uh, you know what? I take it back. I don't want to. I don't want to know why you have a fridge in here. So, which of these buildings is the actual cannery? Edgewater. Cantina. Oh, it says different things on both sides. It's like a sign or something. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Uh oh. Well, uh, did uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? What if I well, just you said tell yes? Mr. Thompson, I'll be right at my post tomorrow, uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Um. What's got you so nervous, bud? Let's use our perception. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? <laughs> uh, th wow, that was weird. I'm positive you mentioned something about being plagued, but actually, I'm just here to collect your graveside fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Um, he told me everything. How long do you think you can keep the secret like that? Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. <laughs> it's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Uh, yo. Uh, I'm sure this is all very tra- No, that seems too bad. Uh, you're just being paranoid, bud. He didn't know anything about that. I am? Law, help me. Paranoia is one of the plague's known <laughs> symptoms. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Oh, God, what do you need? Why do you think I'm a freelancer, dude? What do you need? It all depends. What do you need? A couple of hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Um, not so fast. I've got some questions. I'll do what I can. Why can't you just get buy some medicine your fucking self? I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Why don't you just go to a doctor? Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. In other words, the company won't treat you because you're already sick. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. Oh my god. I assume there's guards. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. All right. What can you tell me about the marauders, dude? I didn't want to help anybody in this town, but as someone who's sick all the fucking time, I can't just let this guy go without medicine, dude. So what can you tell me? I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. All right. So you'll do it then? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it for you. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. <laughs> it's in your spleen? What if he doesn't even need this medicine? You know, you're taking a pretty big risk trusting me. I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. All right, bud. Uh, can, can I, I say this is my main quest? Journal? Side quest. Um, He wants a special cast. Okay, this is what I want to do. So that's, we're tracking that. I'm going to go out to the wilds. I'm going to get his medicine for him. I can't believe I'm doing middlemen work here. I was just coming in for a space thing and I was going to leave. 
But he's in here just pulling on my heartstrings, bro. Also, he might be... What's it called when someone just thinks they have an illness? Um, uh, I can't remember. Because how do you feel something going into your spleen, dude? What's that about? What's that? These are really nice graves. Hypochondriac. Yeah, I was going to say mitochondria. <laughs> Those are different. <laughs> Those are different things. All right, well, we're at some old town. There are marauders. He advised us to be stealthy, and considering we did put points into stealth, maybe that's a good idea. We definitely know there's people around. He's out of range of my perception to see him, though. I'm going to have to cross the road. That seems dangerous. Is he moving to see me? No. <gasps> These guys have their backs to me. <gasps> Shit. Shit. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this in stealth. I really don't. Let's see how good our stealth is. I guess. <laughs> fuck me. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. He kind of saw me there for a moment. Let's see if I... Does this give me cover if I'm this close? Can he see me if I'm crouched? We're testing for the science here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's he going? So, anyway, I just started blasting. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, there's a guy behind us, too. One down. I can use this as cover if he's dead, assuming they don't flank me further. Maybe stealth was a bad idea. <laughs> Maybe we should take some points out of stealth and put them into some. Oh, I could have gone in the back. Ouch! Oh, no. Not the mines. Not Fallout 4 all over again, please. Oh, no. Can I disarm them? Doesn't look like- Oh, fuck me! Oh, can't disarm. Can't disarm. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> I didn't know there were mines in this game. That was insightful. I do see two per two people from my perception. That guy up top. Oh, there's more than two. There's more than two. There's more than two. Breathe more air. Heal up. We're backing up. We're backing up. Oh, fuck me. We're scared, boys. Breathe more air. That guy looks like he's up to no good. That guy looks like he could fucking kill me. The ringleader, dude. He wears rings. Okay, I'm gonna flank around this way. Does the enemy know if I'm flanking? Like, are they able to track me through buildings? It kind of doesn't seem like it. It kind of seems like he was looking for me around that corner and didn't know I ran back around. So he has like a minigun or something. He's holding it really low on his hip. We need more health. All right. We're backing up, we're backing up, we're running, we're running, we're running. This is definitely harder than I thought it was gonna be. Heal again. I was going to try to slow time and hit him as much as I could. We're doing three damage. I wonder if that's because of his armor. Oh, my God. Actually just beating me the fuck up. <gasps> the barrel. The barrel, though. We can use the barrel. Come this way. That's not an explosive. That's a dude. This way, this way, this way, this way. Oh, no. I'm so afraid.
Come on. <laughs> you motherfucker. Enemy killed 450 XP. Let's go. Oh, he's all staticky. Level three, boys. There's still more enemies here. That's blowing me away. He, wait, he's in the wall. What? What the fuck? Oh, he's... Wait, is he on the other side of the building or is he in the building? This dude's in the building and he detected me. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, what do we want to spend our points on? I like the idea of just continuing to increase my dialogue. I think that's dope. So that's 40. So if those effects happen, those guys won't be able to do shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. Get it to 50. Let's go. That's all I need. I'm just gonna talk to people, dude. Apply. Done. Perks. We get perks every other level, so we'll get one at level four. All right, give me these fucking guns, dude. Let's go. Just gonna loot everything in the known universe now. We did get another hunting rifle. My gun is flashing on the UI. Does that mean it's a, oh it's in very bad condition? Uh, so I could definitely see getting some engineering perks being really good just because it's going to allow us to repair that stuff up. Oh, a cash register. Nothing in it. Wait, it had like a, a little thing I can interact with. Anyway, I'm just going to loot. We'll probably cut this out of the video. Save you guys a little time. Are all of these lockers lootable? What the fuck? And we got enough of the lockpick thing so we can actually just... Criminal activities, trespassing, lockpicking, or hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities. Yeah, but I got some dope ass shit out of them. What's my current carry capacity? We're about half of our weight limit. The city seems a little bigger than what was just on that street. It seems like it goes to the northeast as well. Where are we at on the big map right now? Oh yeah, there's a little road that connects all of it. Okay. All right, I feel like I looted most stuff. I probably missed a body or two. They, they kind of, there's so many more people here than I thought. I can definitely see why he wanted me to go in stealth. We did pick up an assault rifle. I'm going to be spec for mostly handguns, but we can at least try out these weapons. We also have a flame sword. Hello? A plasma cutter? Dope as fuck, dude. So we have a light machine gun, spacer's choice, 320 DPS. Oh my God. And an assault rifle, as well as the hunting rifle that we got before we fucked up the save. This is what that big guy was using. It was at his hip. Ooh, hello. All right. I'm heading in. So in here, we're looking for medicine to help that dude. We're going to try to get him back up in working order. Hopefully, he actually needs the medicine. Oh, pre-sliced bread. Fuck yeah, dude. Hopefully, he needs the medicine and he's not just uh, mitochondria. <laughs> yeah, it's a callback. Do you get that? Do you get it? It's a callback. Plain and pure water. I like the sound of that. There's some vending machines in here. Vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. Hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have high enough reputation with the associated faction or a hack skill of 40 or higher. It seems like it'd be much easier to, to do this with a hack skill than anything else. Now, is there actually anything I want here? I have no idea. I mean, that has more armor. That has more armor. But do I want those? Fucking, I don't know. Oh, revolver. 37 damage a shot. That's 160 credits. I'm going to save my credits for now. I don't really know what I'm doing yet. So I don't want to spend any. 
Uh, just took a look at my compass at the top. There's quite a few enemies in here. Well, the assault rifle's good. He's cowering in fear. <laughs> assault rifle's pretty good. I bet it's gonna eat through some ammo, though. Is it this? Okay, it's a different ammo type than our pistol, so that's good. This should actually be a pretty good loot, like a, a pretty good haul, I feel like. We've gotten quite a bit of loot. The town's not far away. We could just go back and sell after this. Can I break glass? No. Hey, little buddy. All right, we'll let him go. He seems nice. I bet I could have killed him. I don't want to. I don't want to kill him. Dude in the other room coming. There's more coming. I'm gonna close this door behind me. At least give me a little notice if I'm being flanked. What the fuck? He just ran to open the door. What was he thinking? What part of that seemed like a good idea to you? See, this is why I'm so glad they have that respec option, because I thought I'd be super into handguns. I thought handguns would be where I was at, but I actually like this assault rifle quite a bit. So just knowing that I have the flexibility to go back and respec that if I wanted to, that feels good, man. That feels real good. Again, I don't know how in-depth it is or anything, but, you know, we'll find out. You've gotten a weapon modification, install mods on a workbench to upgrade your weapons, changing damage types, adding a scope, improving fire rate. Didn't read the rest. So those mists are what I've been using to heal myself. You like put it over your mouth and breathe it in. And it restores your HP at like not a ton, it looked like. So I do think having that passive regeneration on health that I've been talking about, I do think that's gonna be important, but uh uh-oh. Saltuna. That's a scientific name, I guess. Salmon Ide Salnus. Salinus. If the ocean and rivers are the heart and veins of the Emerald Vale, then Saltuna is our highly profitable blood. So it's like a little museum exhibit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Am I going to fight that? That's so scary. We already fought these things. We didn't fight any flyers yet. What is this? Coming soon, the Manta Queen. Ugh. I don't know about that, dude. Did I loot this already? Looks like we did. All right, I think this guy's medicine is not too far away. We can hack this, I don't know what it does. Does it just open the fucking door? No. Should we hack it, team? What do you think? We also got a bit cartridge. So it seems like they want us to... No, that's not what we hack with. That's not what we hack with. All right, we've 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 just in from chat. We're hacking. Uh, So if we were better at hacking, we could hack again. Spacer's Choice Handguns. Body count at a discount. <laughs> Emerald Vale's Community Center, a space, choice, property, terminal access, please set a command. I can look at the logs. The history of the Emerald Vale, once complete, will display a proud heritage of the settlement for generations to come. Decorating the main hall of our noble community center, this elaborate diorama of memorabilia of our settlement's founding will embody, and will embody the hard-working spirit of our spacer family. The centerpiece of this grand exhibit will be the taxidermized Manta Queen erected with our main lobby erected within our main lobby as a sign of civilization's victory over nature itself. So yeah, it's like a little museum. I wish I could hack it further. But we suck. Alright, the medicine is in the back. Or is it behind this door? It's barred. Fuck. This is a bathroom. We haven't been in here yet. Uh, 
Oh shit, dude, this is extensive. We're in the back part of the facility now, and there's a ton of shit back here. Here, I'm gonna get in the habit of sneaking, but I'm gonna open up this bin. Another assault wipe. Oh, that was a ton of stuff, dude. More bit cartridges. Riot control armor. A sawed off shotgun. Can I hold E to swap it in? I don't think I can. Let's see how that fires. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be a little more dramatic. Can I open this or? All right, unbarred. We unbarred the door. Does anyone else get the feeling that we're going to be fighting whatever that big thing that was supposed to be taxidermied? I don't know. I'm kind of getting vibes that there's a big thing in here. That's why they barred the doors. I'm not sure why I was able to open that so easy or if it just opens normally. But nothing too crazy in here. A cache of medicine. All right, bud. We got it for you. Looks like we got some more dudes roaming around. We are bad with the shotgun, dude. Look at him. He's terrified. The shotgun is not our weapon. At least this one. Whoa. What the fuck happened out here? This guy's nothing but legs and arms. All right, we're heading back to town. We did our one mission for this guy. How did I know that we were going to get dragged into helping people, dude? I just wanted an engine for my ship. That's all I wanted. Who's this guy just looking in here? Hello? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Oh my god! Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Ah! Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Fuck! Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. He has symptoms of something. Are you saying he's psychosomatic? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Let me worry about that. Come on, speech. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... Um... That's all I can ask of you. We were sent out to help this man. This man asked us for help. So we're going to deliver it to this man. You want to mingle, go try the cantina. I have that medicine that you wanted, bud. Let's see it. Don't keep us waiting. Um, Esther tells me you have a tendency towards hypochondria. I don't know what that means. Is that some sort of medical condition? Is my plague getting worse or something? <laughs> <laughs> you obviously need this. <laughs> Sweet life given nostrum. The first hit's always the best. Scratch together all the bits I had around the domicile. It ain't as much as you deserve, but it's all I got. Oh my god. You know, I risked my life to save yours. I'm just saying that. I'm just putting that out there. Bringing the blood out of me. Here, you can have whatever's in my pockets. All right, see you around, bud. And then in an alternative world, oh my god, dude, I feel like this would be such a fun game to play the savage in. Did I scare you? <laughs> Thanks for watching, boys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We're gonna continue to go There's around getting scrap from these people the around town. Uh, I guess. I guess that's what we're doing. I just came here to fix my ship, but now I'm invested.
Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you again next time. Goodbye.